going on this Dram's on deck. I'm at Beanie's in Chicago at Lincoln Park, which is their biggest store. I'm just doing a quick vlog of uh, some of the rare collectibles, so check it out. Oh, I got the Tears of Lorona up here, a few inches of Kila, uh, 279. I actually reviewed that before. There's an Amroot here. I've never seen that one before. Master Reserve, 250. Huh. So, uh, some different stuff going on. Refill Sherry Bucks. Um, here's the Boss Hog, number 10. They want 650 for it, but they're all high, as you know. See right there. Resin barrels. What's the proof on that? 52% for the sets. Well, I'm as well, well taxes is going to be about 700 No, thank you. What's some pig? 15, 300, 4 gate, 200. Large town there. You see it. Great Gatsby. I've. It's actually uh, for 280. Um, I've not heard great things about the Great Gatsby, so uh, it can stay right where it's at. Another Amroot up there, down there, more Bargetown, Foursquare, uh, I got some tequilas in here, El Patron, wow, down here. I actually have this yellow, uh, this yellow stone, I already got that, reviewed that, Knobs Creek. Now it's creeping with 75 with old Jane, 250. Jefferson's, what's that? 300. Remus 7 is, you can't see, it was a 129. Kentucky Owls down there. Kentucky Owl batch 12 for 400. 10 year for 300. So, just a little sneak peek. Bring it over here to this shelf. Uh, some of those up there, Japanese uh, ones, I'm not as familiar with. Uh, I'm more into, most of my Japanese are actually the, uh, this brand right here and then also the Yamasaki. So, uh, bring it down. More tequila here. Got this yellow spot for 300. No, thank you. Bush Mills, 25 year. That one's 900. So, I mean, you know, they got all these little delectables here. Jameson, 18. Bush Mills, 30. Middleton, rare. Uh, price points is up here. Uh, you know. Heaven's Door for a hundred. Chevy's 25 year for 350. Johnny Walker Blue. Let's see this one here. 650. And it's kind of more I'm used to. The Kushu Yamasaki. Just got a couple of these uh, orphan barrels down there. You know, it's going for 250, 300 range. Obviously, all these barrel crafts, they're all in the 150 up range, as you can see. Uh, dovetail. Uh, it's 150. Bring it over here. Uh, I've never had Aberfendi, but not, I haven't heard like necessarily exceptional things about it either. Been on the back right there, you see. Uh, oh, we got a Hollow Park 25 for a thousand dollars. Hollow Park 12, you know. Here's go to this Glendronics. Just kid you not, this used to be this Glendronic uh, 18, like about five, six years ago, it used to be $140. I live in Pennsylvania, and now it's up to 250 So, I mean, this inflation is crazy. This used to be around $220. Now you see it's the price point. So everything always inflation, 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 you know. These look like some nice drills, but I mean, 
mean, they're both 50%, this one 57, but damn, $700. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jonak Blender, that one is $750. Been going 25 year, five, well, 600. It's Deanston. You see it. This is actually a thirty thousand dollar bottle right here. You see it? Just for this Gordon and McFell. It's thirty thousand dollars. Shit, they can keep it right where the hell it's at for thirty thousand. No thank you. No thank you. <laughs> now we got some art bags up here. Let's see what time it is. A couple nineteens. They're both three hundred dollars. Um, we got the. Hardcore back there, heavy vapors, heavy vapors. You got a uh, hypernova for 220. You got a crap ton of uh, actual octomores back here. A lot of octomores over here. You got 14, 11, 10. A lot of them. But they're all gonna be 300 though. So I used to get them in California for about 240, 250. So as you can see, like I said, everything goes up. So it's overpriced McAllen. McAllen 18 for 450. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. I thought when it was 279 six years ago it was overpriced, but now it's really crazy. Let's see what time it is. Boona High Band. We got some LaFroids out here, 25 and a 27, the big boys. So you see the price points right there. But wow. Uh, Talskers back there. Price point. 30 year. Bring it down here as a bowl more. I actually just picked this up. And, uh, there's a Buna Hopping Cash Strength right there. I just picked that up the other day. That's $100. Uh, and the 18 year is $400. So, Valley, Gordon McFell, uh, oh, so Glenn Fittick, that's 229. Got one Kilhoman down there. Right all over, you can see the time it is. A lot of, uh, if you're a Scotch, there's a Longro 21 for the big price point of 700. Kill Terrence, I got actually one of those before. See the price point, Glen Levin 25 year. Eight, the old 18 looks like the old 18 was 350 overpriced. I used to get that for about 120. So. But uh, but yeah, if I was to get anyone, I, I might would get that Scotch right here, that Port Charlotte 2013 for 160. Maybe, maybe if I got any of them. But then these are just old cognacs over here. It's super expensive, uh, some of them are. Oh, yeah. But anyway, it's a nice store, though, you know. They have a lot of uh, store picks. Every time I, I come to Chicago, I usually always come here. Um, but if you take a look at the store picks, this is a store pick. I mean, they just got a just smorgasbord of just all kind of store picks here. Got a black and rabbit hole right here. I actually have this bottle here. Um, have that, but you just see all the different store picks they got from different brands. Um, this is one that I thought about getting myself. I've never had a Traverse City before. There's it is right here. A beanies, you see the beanies. 2022 barrel proof. You see what time it is. Um, like I said, just just tons of different things a lot and these barrels you don't know what they, you have to read the tickets just to see like there's a ticket behind it you have to lock in and just see oh what does this have in it da, 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 da. so you know that's how i kind of know a little bit about it or sometimes i may ask a tenant about what's, what's in it but they just have that's just a small portion if you come over here i mean they just got tons and tons of stuff here you got a whole bunch of beanies single barrel jack daniels here you know, 
I don't. Even, there's no tags, so I really don't know what's going on with these. There's a bunch of store pick of new riffs. Um, there's a Woofer Double Oak Remises over here. Just a whole bunch, yeah. These are no, these are all store picks too. They got so many mark uh, makers marked up here. There's just you know different kind of cuts, picks. It's just it's just a lot. <laughs> It's a lot. But as you can see, just give me just a quick, quick tip. And like I said, Nulu, a whole bunch of Nulu out here as well. You see these Nulus down here? It's just tons of them. Boom, coming over here. Boom. Got these high west here. Boom. Nectars, 44. And you see these tumble tents down here. These are like I said, Iowa whiskey. And they have a pretty decent of, uh, these are 2022. I, I reviewed these. This is awesome. They still got a 2022 version. I don't see as many 2023s. I actually have a bottle. Uh, but I don't see a whole lot of them around. But, you know, this is like the rye section. Pin hooks. These are, uh, you don't see a whole lot of these everywhere you go. It just depends on where you shop at you can see some pin hooks as you see there's a seven year you see the prices on them here so that seven year is uh 80 bucks well here's the penelope toasted right here uh this 80 dollars for this one as well what's the char level on here i like the heavy char it's only oh, that's only char one the bottle i have is a level three so it's much heavier on the char uh, you know, it's like a baby char, that one there. These blue runs, Stellums. If you know my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of Sagamores. They got a lot of Sagamores. I already have that. I ha do. I don't have this, and I don't have the maple syrup. This is the first time I'm even seeing this one. Maple syrup. Hmm. Okay. It's different. 53.6% ABV. How much is this one? This one is 80 bucks. 80 bones. Huh, maple syrup. Mm. That could be a hit and miss. I don't know. They go to pigs over here. You see those over here. A lot of hard truth. I sampled one hard truth before. Thought it was okay. I see the prices uh, considerably rising with these sweet mash hard truths. Smoke wagons, a whole bunch of smoke wagons. This is, this is probably the best price I've ever seen for the smoke wagon, uncut, unfiltered. $79.99. This one here is bottled in March. Hmm, okay. Best price I've seen. I actually got an old scout from here. That was pretty good. I mean, you really can't beat these. This one right here, as you can see, is 57%. For 50 bucks. It tells you the five year, it tells you the flavor profile, but I mean, for the price point, that old scout is straight money, in my opinion. That's just in my humble opinion. Can't beat it. If you're in the old Elks, here you go. Double wheat, wheat and rye, pork, and these are all under $100, which is pretty good. Um, you go further down here, here's some more. You know, um, the laws. Never had any of these before. Hmm. They're pretty good. They got pretty good ABVs on them. I will say. Never had them though. If you have had any laws, let me know. You know what? I, I went to a recent whiskey festival and tried this. This was pretty good at a recent whiskey fest. And I didn't think they. I could even find this. But wow, fifty bucks for this one. I actually tried. This is out of Wisconsin and it's a sleeper for me I might just pick this up this, this one is 60 bucks I tried it about three weeks ago I thought it was pretty good I mean for 60 bucks that's not a bad price point especially nowadays for these finished whiskeys see what time it is Murray Hill 130 Joseph Magnus 90 um, but yeah these, this one in particular that one tried that one so out of Wisconsin I thought it was pretty good. 
Um, here's the end of it. I, and I'll probably go to the other side for you in a second. But, uh, but yeah, man, I'm, it's just all about deals. If you can find a good deal, I mean, do it. Set it up, you know. Boom, over here. Oh, we got two classic cuts. So here's the 2023 at 50, and the last year's at 52. Last year's $10 more. That one's on sale. Cal and Harmony. Still got that. 44%. In my opinion, nowadays, McCallum is overpriced and underproofed. Just not feeling it nowadays like I used to. Here's two Nadoras. This one is impeded cast, bottle strain. Oh, they're both close. Might as well say $100. It's pretty much what it is. If y'all don't know, I'm a Scotch guy, so it's kind of what I do. 16 year French oak, 189. Hmm. These are tons of. I actually have this bottle right here, the 18 year. Price here is 180. I got it for cheaper than that, but I got it like when I was in California. That was years ago. So, you know, as you know, as I said earlier, everything rises. So, you know price point I paid is definitely not the price that's going for now when turrets those are all relatively priced bring it back hmm. it's my Glendronics again huh? I'm not a huge fan of uh, Dalmore's had a few of them. Never, no, I've never really knocked my socks off, to be honest with you. I've had the 12 Sherry. I've had the King Alexander. Neither one of them knocked my socks off. So, you know. Oh, this is the new well, the new version of the Royal Broccoli. I actually have a bottle of this. Actually, it's pretty good. I haven't yet to review it. for 60 bucks with 12 year Sherry cast 46%. So, it's not bad. Glenn Catum, $35. Some good, some good quality drams here in the Scotch world. If you or internet bring it back up here they got this glimmerangi tokyo here it just came out not too long ago damn that's the cheapest i've seen it 89.99 i looked online uh, most people have not been impressed with it so that's why i didn't get it because i'm like well i mean i still would try it but i just haven't uh decided that you know i should probably buy and review it if you a scotch person these are sleepers right here i've had these uh at several stores that there's a store in Houston I got this and these are really good it's Equidowers they're all, usually always cash strength and they're finishing different ones as you can see Madeira cast Sardentine cast uh, Bordeaux Burger I mean just all kind of cast and I have never had a bad Equidow so if you're a Scotch fan um, chef definitely check those out um, these right here I've had some of these before these are all, these always been good. These penderins here, um, like those. Those good solid. Here's the whiskey of the uh, scotch of the year a couple times for value wise, sixty bucks for Aryan ten years, six bucks, sixty bucks. It's not bad at all. Right below it, you see the ten year Lecheck. That's for eighty bucks. Uh, they're both good though, very good. <laughs> Uh-huh, bring it up, bow. Okay. Here is the Holland Park number four cash I actually reviewed the number three. The number three cost me about 110. This is $100 for the release number four. I did the release three. I was curious to know how strong this is. And it is 64.3%. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Classic art bags, Uga doll. Damn, Uga doll. I ain't never seen an Uga doll that high. A hundred dollars for Uga doll? Used to get them in California for about 70 bucks. But, uh, you know, as I say, inflation, inflation, inflation. All these little here, quarter cast, 10, 
10 year cash strain. Damn, it's a couple of years ago, December 21. 89.99, batch 15. All right, now. Where else one? These are the last two cart cartridges right here. Um, wow. Here's, here's the Kilhoman Land right here. I've reviewed this one before, but that was a 2022, if I'm not mistaken. Um, which is right there. Right here is 122 for 139. And uh, yeah. All these Kilhomans here. Straight kill home land, and these, like I said, these are for Scotch people. So, now Scotch person, this is probably not going to be quite your wheelhouse, but these are solid drams. And this pretty much ends the Scotch land. So, I'm gonna walk around some more, but um, just showing you a little bit. I mean, if you flip the camera, this is a huge store. I mean, this is like a massive size store, as you can see. It's a quick 360 of the store. I mean, it's just rows and rows and rows of stuff here. Okay, I mean, just, I mean, it's everywhere. So, um, yeah, just a quick 360. There's Irish over there. And then laying out slide. But, um, but anyway, just give y'all a quick 360. Hope you enjoyed it. Drams on deck. Out of here, man. Hope you're enjoying the holiday season. Doing great things. I'm probably going to try to find maybe one more bottle. And then uh, I got to fly back. So, take care. Sign out. Drams on deck. Yes, sir.